Okay, welcome back to my channel. So I made a video in the past about my Samson uh, Samba. It was a Q990. And it's like the flagship Samba from Samson. I bought it from them um, in Black Friday, so it was about November. Um, the, so I, I think I talked about the issue I had with that Samba uh, in that last video I made. So this was the issue. I bought it and it had problems with the EOC. Uh, it would stop working, right? The EOC, you connect that to your TV and what would happen? It would stop working. Sometimes in the morning it would stop working. While you're watching TV, it would stop working. Um, there was, so there's no sound, right? Well, it's not exactly no sound. You can still get sound out of the soundbar using the Wi-Fi. But I paid for, I didn't pay for to have a faulty soundbar. I paid for, I paid for it to work. So I wanted the EOC to work and I also was, read online the EARC has better sound than the Wi-Fi and in my opinion yes it did seem to lack a little bit so um, basically with this issue Samsung like so in November uh, Samsung just kind of messed me around for ages nearly going on to two months probably over two months now um, what happened was I called them up told them the issue they were talking about getting a repair person over to look at it and I was like, oh, do I need to, um, I, I was in doubts about getting an engineer to come over to look at it. Now I'm thinking about it, I probably should have just done that instead, not knowing what happened with the issue. Um, so I ended up, but I realised I was still in the return period. So some from November to January, they extended the return period to nearly a couple of months. So I, what I did was I called them up and I said, oh, forget about the engineer, sending that engineer out. We'll just... Uh, do a replacement, right? I'll send it back to you and we do a replacement. Then they said, you need to send the whole thing back. I said, I've only got an issue with the soundbar. I've not got an issue with the rear speakers or the subwoofer. So can I just please just send the soundbar back and uh, can you just send me the, uh, just the soundbar, nothing else. So after a while, they weren't in for it, right? I was, I was trying to explain to them, I don't have a box big enough for everything to put into. Right, I've thrown out the original box. I don't have the original box, so I do not have that. I cannot help it. Can I just do? Can you just help me out and just give me the soundbar and nothing else? But eventually, they said yes. So, okay, they organized a delivery man to come pick up the uh, soundbar, just the soundbar, and then they, I call them up uh, after a while, maybe a couple of days. I call them up and ask them how when will I expect my replacement soundbar. They told me that. Um, it was out of stock, right? So I would have to wait. This was January the 4th. I've already returned it on January the 4th. I called a couple of days, asked them when will I get my replacement soundbar. This is out of stock, so I'll have to wait. So I waited, waited, and it came back into stock. This is when I called them up again, and it's coming to stock, and they said, no, you still need to wait, right? Um, it's still to, they're still processing the re replacement. It might take up to, I don't know, a week or two weeks. And so after two, or three, uh, after two, I think after two weeks, I called them up again, and they said, uh, I think they said there was some kind of. This one give me. Uh, it was just back and forth. It was kind of messed up. I mean, they just. I think after the two weeks, I realized I just have to wait, right? Uh, and so I waited. Uh, I called them up a couple of times. They still didn't give me a, an answer why the replacement wasn't coming. I think they just told me to wait. Um, then in February, near the end of February, recently, just now, uh, I just kept calling, kept calling, kept calling, uh, got emails for you back and forwards. They finally, they told me the problem was I didn't return the uh, subwoofer and rear speakers. I tried to explain to them that I talked to the guy on, on the phone and he said it was fine. But no, they said, no, they can't do the replacement until you return the subwoofer and the rear speakers. So we organized that again. I did manage to find a, another box, smaller box, and I ended up putting those things into that box and sending it across. Um, the moment, so they organized another delivery, they came, took it away, and the moment they sent an email back to me, and said, oh, it's out of stock again. The sound bar is out of stock. What do you want? We can refund you the money, or we can like uh, give you, if you want to wait, we can. you can wait, and once it comes in stock, we can give you a replacement. So uh, I said very clearly, please, I will wait for replacement. After a couple, uh, then 
what they did was they replied back to that email and said, I got an email, another email later on saying, ah, oh, we've given you a refund, right? Uh, we've processed your refund and the, the refund did actually hit my account. Um, but the thing was, uh, by error, they said to me, oh, sorry, we make the error. We were meant to give you a repla replacement, but we refund you the money, right? And here's the link, reorder it again for yourself. The, the problem was this, when I bought it on Black Friday, I bought it with my TV and the sound bar was half price if you buy a TV. But now the, it's not half price. So they gave me about £700 back, but the actual, that offer is not on. You have to buy a sound bar. It's not half price, it's full price. I would have to pay 1400 for the sound bar. So I would have to pay more, I would have to pay 700 so I think they gave me about £700 refund. They said, go buy it again. And I would have to pay out another £700 to get that soundbar. Um, so I, I tried to explain this to them. It was on offer. I, I would have to pay another £700 to get that soundbar because it was half price off. And said, oh, I'm sorry. We do not take payments. Uh, uh, apparently, uh, Samsung, a billion dollar company, can't take a payment. So I can't even give them, so I said to them, can I just give you the money back and you could just give me that replacement? No, no, we can't take uh, payments anymore. So, um, yeah, so I've called them, tried to organize, uh, tried to ask them about this era. I'm so over the phone with Samsung, you can order a TV and a, a soundbar and you can pay with uh, your debit card. So, but apparently they can't take any refund from me. This error, which is, um, it's not really error. It's some um, Samsung uh, BS, right? They're trying to scam me, right? It's because they know they they're trying to. They just don't want to give me a re replacement. They just want to give me six hundred pounds back, and they've taken the old soundbar back. They gave me six hundred pounds back. Now they're just trying to charge me another seven hundred pounds because it's not enough. It's very. It was very annoying, very irritating. I wasted about two months of my time. I really missed out on having a good soundbar. Yeah, I'm very annoyed at um, Samsung. I would buy from another company, but I feel like they have like a monopoly on the TVs they do. They they do QD, OLED. Um, they they have. I think they have one of the best soundbars. But it's just they do have a monopoly, and they're just like um, f you. We can do whatever we want. Um, my experience with the call centers, calling them up, they seem to be not. Um, they're not from Britain. They're they're not even Indian. I I think they were like from Singapore or something. I I'm I can't be hundred percent sure. I definitely know they're not. Every time I called, um, every time they called, they're very kind, uh, very polite. They kill you with kindness. Um, um, but then afterwards, there's always, oh, can you please, uh, do the survey, customer survey, give me a good score. So I used to give them a good score, but. It's like they don't do anything, right? Sometimes I would call them up and they would not follow up on my uh, cure. Like I would call them up and ask them, please do this, um, you know, take care of this for me. Please chase up the soundbar. And they would say, yes, we'll do it, we'll do it. We'll give you an email, you know, straight after when we get off this phone call, we'll give you an email. I'll give you a case number, everything. And I would get off the call. They would not send me the email. They would not send me the case number so I can follow it up and they didn't follow it up themselves. So a lot of times when I'm following up, they're not doing anything, right? It just, they've told them something not to follow through with the replacement, but they've not told me that information. So I've had to call them again and again to sort it out. It was, it, this whole thing was irritating. So they spent nearly two months not telling me what the problem was about the re replacement. And eventually they told me, and then they make this error with payment. It was not an error, it was just some uh, Samsung BS. Um, so what they've done is I've called them today and they've said, we're sorry about the error. We can give you 30 pound, uh, gift voucher, uh, just saying to the email. Yeah. 30 pounds is not enough, right? Cause I'm still, I have to pay, uh, 700 pounds for the soundbar. So 30 pounds is not good. Um, let me see my notes. Um, the call center seem to be in Singapore. I've said that, um, my next options going to have to be uh, I'm going to have to contact somebody higher up, right? It's, I try to call management. I phoned them up and I said, can I talk to management, someone higher up? And they were like, we'll put you on hold. And they kept me on hold for, I don't know, probably 30 minutes to one hour. 
and still nobody got back to me. Eventually, I just put, I just had to leave, right? Because I'm on hold for, no, what happened was I was on hold for 30 minutes to an hour. Eventually, they just put the phone down, right? They picked it up, said, hello, how can I help you? And it was just another advisor. It wasn't management. And then they, um, then I just had to go because they put me on hold again. I can't wait hours and hours for management to come to talk to me. Um, I think they just put me on hold to nowhere, right? There's nobody going to call me back. So I'm going to have to keep calling them until I've talked to at least somebody from the UK to resolve my issue, right? They were kind of, the email, one of the emails they sent me was like, sorry, I, I thought it was kind of rude, in a, like not passive aggressive kind of rudeness, like, oh, make the error, sorry, mu sorry so much, here's your link, uh, go buy it yourself. It's, um, like they... I try to explain to them again. Uh, I would cost me too much. They just would not listen at all. Uh, next options is call management. Uh, call somebody higher up at Samsung to sort this issue out. Um, I've made this video. Hopefully, if you're watching this from Samsung, please help me out. Uh, do something. Do the right thing. I'm not asking you to uh, do anything you wouldn't do. Just do what you've you you do on replacements. I've done, sent it back to you. Just do the right thing. Send me my soundbar. Um, another thing is I've heard online there's something called the ONS, ONS Ombudsman Service. So I think that's somewhere I can complain or I think it's a free thing online where I can talk to them about this company, how they treated me and try to go through them to resolve it with Samsung. So I'm going to go into look into that. I don't know if they can help me, but I will look into the Ombudsman. Um, Yes, yeah, so there's two things. Yeah, um, uh, I would buy from a Sony, right? I would buy Sony, but Sony's a lot more expensive for kind of similar items. Um, there's only really Samsung and Sony. There's two companies that really that have the right type of I don't know, quality. I feel like so. There's only those two. This is a, like a monopoly, right? I just feel like you can't go anywhere. They're both gonna let you down. Um, it's very irritating, very frustrating. Um, I feel like I got scammed. It's like I feel like I got scammed by Samson. Um, don't sue me. Okay, uh, like this video, leave any questions down below. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Um, was I wrong? Did I do something wrong? I don't think I did. Uh, no, I didn't do anything wrong. Um, I did everything right. But um, let me know your experience with Samsung customer service. Mine wasn't, they're very polite, but they're just awful. Uh, didn't do anything. And uh, Samsung just brought me. Thank you very much. Like the video. Use the links in the description to support my channel. Thank you. Bye. I love you.